There's my helpers. What are we up to, monkeys? What are we up to, monkeys? We're building a, a chicken coop. Yeah, a chicken coop. Just a little yard chicken coop. So I thought I'd uh, share this construction adventure with you. So I just made a frame. It's four by eight. And I took um, a two by 10 that I had. I ripped it down into three pieces. So two of them are the side pieces and one got cut in half for the ends. This is uh, an old bed frame and uh, we're just cutting those down to length for the side supports and then these are some of my dad's uh, Milson uh, softwood boards these are either spruce or balsam so those are going to be the two pieces that are going to go up at the top here and um, I'll show you what we're up to and how this comes together we're not working from a plan we're just uh, working from our own little pea brains with our uh, with three different visions probably um, oh and two pea brains and an avocado and then uh, we'll see how this comes together mostly recycled materials I already had screws and uh, just working with my Makita set and some other hand tools and maybe we'll have a okay backyard chicken coop small enough to move around because we want to pasture feed these guys as much as possible on the lawn and uh, go from there me to cover it. There we go. There we go. That's not doing anything, Linnea. Probably just going to break something. I'm trying to cover up the address. Okay, so these are the ones that we cut, right? Yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to put one under so that when we put this one in, it's sitting right at the right depth with the uh, and oh those nails are almost too long they're almost poking through the other side that's too bad how tall this will be and then all these guys are gonna go maybe on the inside um, like that okay film that did you? Yep. Nail going in crooked? Must have been a faulty nail. Totally. What's so bad about it? It's more nails. Yeah. Oh this piece good, split monkey. off. It split off. Awesome. Just, I knew that was going to happen on camera. What are you laughing at? Well, it's funny. Whoa. Some of these nails just get halfway and then they want to bend. I don't want to hit my camera though, right? That would be a disaster. Mm -hmm. I 
because my ears. Yeah. All reused lumber. That's all right. Hey, a couple splits. Not too bad. I saw a couple right there. Mm -hmm. What's this part? The second floor. Yeah. So what's going to be in here? The nest boxes. Yeah, maybe we'll have a nest box. Or maybe two. And we'll have a back that lifts up. So you can reach in, get the eggs, right? Mm-hmm. And then what's going to be up here? A uh, tin roof. Yeah, tin roof. Keep all the rain off. Tin roof might come out. Uh, I think a tin roof, I think the pieces are 36 inches. So let's say there's a little overlap at the back. Tin roof's going to come out about this far. So that'll be tin roof. And then what's all the front going to be over here? Chicken wire. Yeah. So chicken wire across the top. Chicken wire across the front and on the sides because we bought 48 inch tall chicken wire. Which should go from the top to the bottom. And should also go and cover the whole top. Over to here. And then we were thinking about doing what at the front here? At the front having like a walk-in kind of. Yeah, so maybe to hinge it in some way that we can open the front, eh? And be able to go in. And do the food and water. Yeah. Uh, my other thought on that was at the back, if we have a hole, um, if the hole back opens, then you can get the eggs. And you can change the food in the water because we'll want the food in the water to be under the tin roof, right? Mm, yeah, so it doesn't like rain on it. And yeah. yeah. So like the whole back just like opens up. Yep. You can get the eggs and then you can do like, the food more. You got it. So that's kind of where we're at. We just added these pieces here. Uh, I'm short one screw there. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll see what we've got left for materials, what we can work on tonight, right? Mm -hmm. and uh, do some more stuff. So we've got old tin roofing at my parents' place that we can recycle for this project. There. Oh yeah, we were gonna do a little, maybe a little walk down, eh? Like a little ladder. Mm -hmm. Chickens can come. Maybe we'll come down to here or something so the chickens will be able to walk up and down and then they'll be able to forage all of this area. And, and then we can move it. A water and a thing, yeah. And it should be light enough. We should just be able to pick it right up, slide it along a little bit. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. That's the plan. Cool, dude. Now what, dude? We're gonna make a jump bar. What's a jump bar? What were we gonna do? A ramp. Yeah, and then we changed our mind from a ramp to just a uh, 18, 18 inches uh, jump bar. So the chickens can just jump up to here and then jump up to here, right? And then they should mm -hmm. be fine. And this one, you know what we'll do? We'll go with a knife after and we'll round the, edge. the edges and then they'll be able to roost on it also if they prefer. And that should be all right. Yeah, and sand it probably, maybe. Yeah. Well, I grabbed two different lengths of screws, so I'm gonna have to get a longer one in a minute. That one's too short. A lot, of our, split. a lot of our wood is splitting on us, eh? This one's not going to grab enough, so we'll get a long one. And this is why we're putting the wire on last, because we have to keep climbing in and out. This one should be good. split 
too, but that's okay. It's just for them to jump on. Hundred pounds. Hey, a hundred pounds. <laughs> Those are some big chickens. How many chickens are we planning to have in here? Two. Yeah, just two. Quite a bit of space for two chickens, but. Just in case we get three. Yeah. Or okay. four or five or six. So we're sort of at the end of what we can do for now until we have our tin and uh, cut our mesh and build our gate or our drop door at the back. So we'll need some hinges and things, right? <laughs> All right. So we'll check back in when we have those. So we started doing some more work, eh, monkey? Mm -hmm. We forgot to update the camera, so now we're going to update the camera. What have we got done so far? Uh, we got done the roof. Well, we're getting the roof done. Yeah. We went with all the tin. Yeah. So just scrap tin that was at my uh, parents' place, right? So we don't need anything fancy. And there's a few little rain holes, but we can patch those up with a little bit of... Uh, the uh, aluminum tape or maybe even just some caulking right mm -hmm. we've got a piece of tin so we're going to fold this over and screw that down there and then what's our plan for the insides well that camera study here let me film you show what's our what's the layout going to be in there that there's going to be a solid triangle here and then right here is there's going to be a door yeah. So you can take the eggs and put in the food and water. Yeah. Right on. And then we'll probably put a solid piece of wood on the front. So it'll be solid front and back. But this low piece will be open so the chickens can hop up. And then they can roost in here where it'll be nice and dark at night and cozy. Right? And then they'll have all this front space. To run around in. Yeah. And then, can you go try and lift it from the back? Because we want this to be... Like. Sort of a weight that we can, uh, yeah, I guess it's a, it's going to be an adult job, but it'll be yeah, an adult movable, job. right? Move. We'll be able to move it around and give them fresh grass and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Fresh worms. What are all the hooks so right now we just finished doing the netting, the chicken wire, and then we finished putting on the triangles at the top. And... We did the door so it opens and closes. You can get the eggs right here. You put the food and water here. And right here, we're working on making a door that just lifts right up. You remember to have the. So, what are you doing? This is going to be the structure. The frame for the access door. And. We're just going to screw together a frame and then we will cut out, whoops, cut out a piece of, um, a piece of the chicken fencing to cover it. So we picked up some hinges to use and some hook and eye latches. And what are we going to do today after this is done? Um, We're going to go get the chicks. Go get the chicks, I guess, eh? Yep. Is it splitting? No, it just wasn't going in all the way. I had to get it to pull through a bit. So you're making the frame before you put it on? Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we're going to cover it in chicken wire. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it'll be that big. Don't we already have a piece of frame right here? Is that for hooking the that's, hook and eye? Hook? Yeah, and that's so that the door doesn't just swing right through to the inside, right? It has to stop against something, so that's kind of like a door jam. Mm -hmm. Well, it stops against the top level, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> That's not true. Ooh, it's gonna split.
What about this side? I don't know. Maybe I'll be clever and I'll pre drill it. So it can't split. Well, it can split, can it? Um, not when it's pre drilled. It's really unlikely. There's a black fly that keeps okay. getting at me. Might have drilled a crooked hole there. Oh well. Oh yeah, I think I see it. Yeah. So right now we're just screwing in the hinges. Yeah, so we didn't buy too much for making this coop. We bought the chicken wire. And we bought the hinges and the hook and eye. Everything else is kind of like recycled, repurposed, right? Mm -hmm. Mostly from ground. And um, even we had a pile of uh, chain link that we could have used for the fencing, except it would have been really heavy. And so we just put the money in. Like on chain top. mail, like the chain link like fence. Ancient armor. Okay. Where do we, is it going to hang good there if it's where, if that's where it is? I see a problem, which is that it's got to put in crooked. Bottom. There you go. Woo! You can't go higher than even with the thing, right? You're just gonna pull it apart. It can go that far. Don't hit, don't pull higher on it. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Need a piece that is. 36 by 28. Okay. Alright, this will be the piece to cover the access panel. There's lots of bugs in your hair. I bet. Mm. What is it you wanted to say about my buttered mm. coffee? Um, should daddy drink less or more butter and maple syrup coffee? Obviously more. No, it's, you're gonna have a heart attack, and then, and then me and Mirka are gonna have to run the chicken coop on our own. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that? I wouldn't mind running the chicken coop on our own, but I wouldn't. I would definitely. And we mind would get to having a heart attack. Yeah. A coffee and butter heart attack game. Yeah. Somehow I'm Maple just. Maple syrup and butter. Not really convinced that that's a problem <laughs> or a likelihood. How am I not getting any of them? There's so many. Ugh. I don't know. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. I didn't even get that one. Is there like any bug repellent or something? Uh, I think so. We haven't really broken it out yet this year. I'm gonna clip this little end piece off, Mirka. You could grab it and just pull it out of the way. Thanks. Yep. Hey, fine. Are you still filming? <laughs> Nobody wants to watch me cut wire for 10 minutes. Gone. 
Can I try? Mm-hmm. Here, try it. You got it? I got it. Got it. How do you use this? Do you just, you just, yeah, Here. it's a little hard. You see? You, so that you want to line the wire up with this line in the middle, which is where the stapler wants to fall apart, but, okay, like that? Yep. And then you just push, and you keep pressure against the wood while you're pushing it, okay? Um, and do you skip one every time? Yeah, yeah I'm doing like every third one. Good. Did you get it? Perfect. Yep. Exit. Why does it say exit? Because that's where the staples come out. In case you're ever wondering where the staples went. Uh. They come out. You might have ran out of staples. You didn't let it come back far enough to reset. Oh. Am I on the phone? No. I hope not. That would be terrible. You can miss. What? You missed. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do this one. That season's starting. This is our last video until the winter when the bugs go away. No! <laughs> I want the winter to just not no bugs. But it, all the that would be wiped out if there was no bugs. Yeah. Wait there, Stinker. Can you do another one? Or how are you going to end it? I'm just oh, wondering we'll if we want to, when we go down, if we want to wrap, wrap the back around a bit. Maybe just put the odd. Okay, they're not going away from me. What is this? People in here. Maybe it's out of date. Or maybe I just need more. Yeah, and then, How's our bottom lining up here? Good. Kind of, kind of a little bit. We're gonna end up folding the bottom under two a bit, right? Oh, it stinks! We were filming the journey jump. Oh, yeah, so there's our almost completed uh, backyard chicken coop. Mostly made of scrap materials, and then we, I mean, we could have jimmied up some, uh, different latches or whatever out of whatever but uh, I just went to the hardware store and because our hardware stores are open now and bought a couple latches and some hinges um, but everything else is kind of recycled on it which is cool and it should be light enough to move around um, I'll show you where it's gonna go over here this is um, not the main garden our main garden is at my parents place but this is a little backyard garden at my house so there's rhubarb there's a kind of a mound starting here to do some squash there's a recycling row sorry a compost row and then potatoes um, same thing over here I had potatoes here last year so as I find them I'm just throwing them over to the other side I've got a compost row there there's a few little garlics and onions that came up from last year um, one of my daughters planted uh, an oregano and these are little pea sprouts they just came up we planted them three weeks ago and the soil just got warm enough for them to sprout and then these are a couple of wild chicories that um, Steve Lukacic uh, propagated and he gave them to me last year I put them in they were real piddly and they didn't look like they were gonna amount to much but they look real good this year so I'm thinking, girls, we'll probably put that chicken coop right here beside the compost pile, and then we'll move oh, it and they can over eat all here. The bugs. So we'll just keep moving it around the edges of the garden, and it'll help to keep the weeds from encroaching. I thought we were gonna keep it over there. Me too. No. For a minute. Okay. Um, can I bite into this? Yeah, go for it. Will it taste bad? Fresh potato right out of the garden. What do you say? Good. What's the... Have some. Holy, holding everybody in suspense. What's your, uh, what's your take? What's your review? What do you got to say? It tastes like a raw potato. Yeah, I bet. I could have <laughs> predicted that. 
three out of five. Chicken coop. Maybe we're gonna bring some chickens over today. No, we are. Oh, we are gonna bring some chickens over today. Chicks. And why a backyard coop? What do we even want a coop for? Chickens. Yeah, to keep them. Well, yeah, eggs. for chickens. <laughs> Come on, yeah, eggs. And to get brood, so we can hatch. Yeah, chicks. hatch more. And so we can get experience, so that we can get a cow. Yeah. No, we're not gonna get a cow. You said yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. Um, you said yeah. Yeah, so eggs, they'll eat all the kitchen compost. They'll be good for fertilizing around the garden and keeps you guys outside a bit too, right? Yep. So you don't spend all your days on the tablets. And we can have friends. Yeah, why don't you jump in the frame there if you want to participate. No, not <laughs> I meant in the camera frame, but sure. Why don't you oh. jump in the chicken coop? Oh, I thought you meant the chicken frame. Just watch those little loose wires that are on your back there right now. Because they're going to hurt. Yeah, I'm not going to lift it off. It's stabbing me in the organ. There, look, it's also a kid trap. Thank you. Oh, I remember last time when they were just tiny chicks and they would jump off. Yeah. And then we would put them on here and they would jump off of it. Too and bad the would... latches aren't installed or I could lock you guys in there, eh? No. Yes? No. Yes. You know what we would do? I would actually bust out of that. Because I would, I would not too through about that. Just... Yeah. I would not push out of here because it took a long time to figure yeah well then how would you get out Look, you, just you could just one of you could lift it from the bottom and you could oh, crawl out it's not super heavy ready right, steady ah, yeah. there. Oh, wait, see it. you could escape <laughs> <laughs> don't pull on that bar though Mirka, because it's only held but oh. oh are you really gonna do that okay there. come on out ding dong I go with that. well i got it lifted now you might as well come out kids Kit. stinking rotten kids there it is all finished. So I know we talked about a few different um, designs over here, but what we ended up doing is putting a, uh, a latch on the bottom and then just having a, a lifting panel. So that lets us access this feeder and water, which are both large for the number of chickens that are in here. Um, and they're just held to the ceiling, which would be the floor of the nesting box area with cup hooks. So that's pretty simple and easy for the kids to operate and they are loving it and then over here same thing um, just lets you access they're not old enough to lay yet but there'll be a nest box up here and they can roost up here so that's working out all right and we are now Backyard flock owners. Hey, chicky chickies. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way here. They're pretty warm. You can see them panting. We're kind of in a bit of a heat wave for our area right now. Four of them. They still like their box more than they like their top roost. But uh, they got some sand here for dust bathing and they got lots of greens to chew on and when they kind of chew this patch down bear will move the uh, chicken coop around and I just situated it beside my compost row beside my potato patch beside my garden my little garden and uh, so far they've been here for one night and it's going all right oh, there we go. oh he tried to jump up and he missed Go for it, buddy. You can do it. The box isn't a steady enough launching platform for them. I think they haven't figured out that to get on the first bar. Although they did all get up there on their own before, so seems to be all right. Anyway, there's your. Oh, here we go. Let's figure it out. We don't have to stay here and watch this guy bouncing around. I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys on the next one. In the meantime, be resilient, be resourceful. <laughs>